Hello and welcome to episode 16 of Never Win a Night's Adventure Series number 5 against the Cult of the Reptile God. Dougie and I are here in the north, the Rushmore Marshes. And we're heading north. Um, couldn't find a place to rest there. Oh, two shadowy figures. And they each run in opposite directions. So yeah, we're here on the second map. We have not explored yet. Shocker lizard. Check out this long sword. Nice. Ooh, 50 XP for him. And as I thought, the docks continue. On this map. I'll put bull strength there. Yeah. Lizard man. Stay away from the cave east of here. Witches live there. Wow, lots awesome of lizard men. I saw a named lizard in the bunch. Aha. Uh -huh. Slard. Greetings, warm blood. I am Slard, chief of this tribe. You are welcome to take sanctuary from the horrors of the marsh. But we have been attacked by the Trogs many times lately. And if they strike again, you will be expected to help defend the stockade. Can I ask you something? Yes. What is this place? I'd have thought that was obvious. Not all lizard folk live in water-filled caves and eat warm bloods. 
This stockade is my tribe's home. Have the troglodytes, troglodytes been causing you problems? Yes, they used to ignore us, even trade with us sometimes. But they changed many moons ago. They told us their god had spoken to them and demanded that our stockade be given over to them. They ordered me to swear loyalty to their god. I refused, and since they have been growing in numbers and launching regular raids upon us, they have breached the walls twice and taken many of my tribe prisoner, including my loyal bodyguard, Uglush. I seek to destroy the troglodyte RV and their false god. If I find any of your tribe in their base, I will do my best to free them. You are courageous, warm blood, but beware. The troglodytes are great in number, and in recent times, many warm bloods have moved into their lair too. Even the snakes and lizards of the marsh seem to be under their control. Do you know where the troglodyte's lair is? Yes, travel southeast from here until the marsh becomes impassable. Then head north through quicksand until you come to a bridge. Their lair is on the other side of the bridge, but the entrance is always heavily guarded. Do you have anything to trade? Talk with our shaman, Slush. He deals with such matters. May I rest here? Yes, the, others, the other turf hut is for the use of visitors. You may sleep in there. Thanks. Shlush. Greetings. See my nya foretold you coming to me in a dream. We are honored by your presence here. How may I help you, favored one? Do you have anything to trade? Of course. Would you care to look? Please. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, belt of hill giant strength. Plus three. 19,000, though. Can I scavenge that much? Let's see. 133 for the ice bullets. Sold. Arrows plus one. For 26. Sold. Garnet. 42. Cloak. Cloak of Resistance 2. I have a Cloak of Resistance 1, so we'll sell the Cloak of Resistance 1 for 443. How much can we get for that? 1974, okay. Fireball for 189. Gauntlets of Ogre Power. Oh, those are nice. 2000 we'll sell them for. 25 bullets plus 1 for 17. Copper necklace for 35. Base plus 2 for 2500. Fire agate for 3. Well, we're not gonna reach 20 grand, unfortunately. Not even close. What did I do with the cloak? Oh, we have an unidentified ring. A fortitude plus three. That's pretty good, but we'll sell for fifteen fifty-four. There's the ring of lightning. Alright, as much as I want that, we're going to have to find more loot. Alright, we're pretty good elsewhere. Just need to upgrade the belt position. Go rest in the visitor's hut. A well timed resting spot. Slarg, the tree of the Lizard Man tribe, has offered me shelter within a stockade. However, their encampment has been regularly assaulted by troglodyte raiders in recent months, and in return for his hostility, I'll be expected to help defend them. Stockade if necessary. 
troglodytes have been sighted approaching the walls. Slarg demands your assistance to repel the attack. Come. What's happening? I've got a dire wolf, don't worry. survive slush 100 xp and slard wow no looting the dead Not well, Karini. The troglodytes will not recover quickly from such losses. We should be safe for now, which is well as well considering our own casualties. It is as Sesmuyanya foretold. Your presence here delivered a decisive defeat upon the faithless troglodytes. They will trouble us no more. Praise Simuanya. You guys recovered though, that was pretty wicked. Oh, I can loot them. Boots of Striding plus two. Shape. Falling log. Alexander. away. Get the XP for that. Ring a bell. Ring a bell. Man's probably getting sick of me bringing him and not using his services.
Alright. Continue exploring. Anyway. Yeah, fear wouldn't be a good thing to get in this swamp because I'd be running into a million and one enemies. Yeah, I know. Okay, that's the way to the lizards. I don't want to go that way just yet. Head back to the south. Let me explore a bit. Oh, slithering is creepy. Attack. Nice. I like when I land a good shot, it shows me that my character can somewhat survive. Critical hit. Did it all by myself. Love the frogs croaking and stuff, and the crickets, and very cool. Cool, the DXP. What a method, uh oh. Methods hit pretty hard. Yeah, and I need to... Not stand there and take it. Kill it. Nice. Ooh, beware the water methods. And then the blood fern. Which I've yet to use. But it's very handy. Flying eye. Some right in the witches. I bet I could have killed it before it set the alarm off that I'm coming. Small black pudding. I could have range attacked and killed it. Maybe. Oh no. I should be using spells, not potions. Potions are for in combat type things. Aha, the witch's cave. Over there. Oh, 
Uh, love the opportunity at XP everywhere. 72 for that. Where am I anyway? About five and a half thousand. Ducky will find the way. Dead people, a lot going on here. He ran way ahead. Yeah, this I think is... Okay. That's the bridge to... The troglodytes. Deal with the witches first. Yep, the floor. Your soul shall be mine. about a blood fern no a blood fern for Dougie can I give him that all right use a blood fern I still need to use it You got my back. I'm dazed. Maybe he killed another hag. I didn't get to use my blood fern. Uh, Trilodite attacking from behind and followed us. Eggs are dead. This stinking troglodyte nearly blew it up for us. Swamp hang. Amulet. Nice, 263, spider venom strong, um, an adventuring, a fire agate, unidentified potion, a bar of adamantine, and a phylactery. Peering into this smoke glass jar, you are shocked to see a miniature translucent human male form floating around inside. His features are barely discernible, but an air of sadness pervades. That would be our boatman. Time to get a free rest. Oh, let's 
take it. Expertly placed mana node. If I can somehow afford that hill giant belt, I'll be um, definitely set and be able to handle myself. Because I have pretty much perfect gear on everywhere else, except for the belt area. Everything else is really um, class equipment and good stuff that I equipped. Alright, so let's go summon the boatman. of clarity when walking through quicksand might be good. Or is that more of a movement thing? So more like potion of freedom. Freedom of movement. Giant lizard. this adamantine full plate armor adamantine chain mail adamantine helmet how's my helmet situation is very weak an adamantine helmet would be a good move thank you rich for dropping some components <laughs> in the chests Bar of Adamantine's not bad. Alright, Chadman. something to show you, Chadmon. I found this jar in the hag's cave. There seems to be something trapped inside it. Here, take a look. Yes, you found it. I can feel my soul aching to be free. I am whole again. You have my eternal gratitude, mistress. Glad to have been able to help, Chadmon. I suppose you'd be departing now? All in good time, mistress. I will release my soul and complete my life's journey in due course, but my voyage with you is not yet at an end. Do not look perplexed. I will depart when the time is right for both of us. Very well. Nothing for now. So I got 500 XP. Cool. Let's go barter with the lizard folk. Again, very cool map design, really digging this, feels right, feels good. You guys better hope you're not getting attacked again. Alright, how much does the bar go for? 164, okay. Boots and Stridey for 2,000. Alexandre for 50. Four-leaf clover. Four agate for three. Uh, 
natural armor plus two. Don't want it. 1023. Adventuring for seven. Forest bar for 17. Fenelope for seven. Amethyst for 14. Sunset go for two. And the hill but hill giant is 19 1900 19,000. Alright, we're gonna quick save and we're gonna try to craft with this bar of adamantine. I could do the full plate set and then sell it, or I could just do the helmet. And make me a better helmet. Would I have to roll a 20 here? Because my craft armor is a 5. Craft armor is a 7. So I'd have to roll an 18. Yeah these are too hard to do yet. Next level I have to put points into craft armor. If the game is still going by then. But again, I am going to take this character into Scourge of the Slave Lords. Which is another highly recommended pen and paper conversion module. Thanks Rich for the recommendation. Um, it was in my list of ones to play. And I'm going to take Karini into that after we're done here. I'm kind of hoping this doesn't end because this is a lot of fun. Love the swamp area. So we're going to head to... Lizard land now. Oh, this again. Look at taste. Nice. Alright, so the gates are heavily guarded. One troglodyte's down already. Um, I'm going to use my sound burst horn on them. Dead things in cages and disturbed on that island. They don't even know we're here. They know an alternate way in there if you're a druid or such. I don't 
looks like a mess. All right. So, quick save. We'll get a bless. We'll in magically enhance my longsword. And that should be good enough. Come here. I gotta kill this one. No, kill this one. Come on. Dougie is paralyzed with not knowing where to go. Now I'm moving. Good luck hitting me. Over here, bud. serious potion. I should be using my spells. I don't know why I keep going to potions. Those potions are for like emergency, but I kind of panic and don't go to my spells. So that was tricky. So in the next episode, well, we'll keep playing for a few more minutes. A muddy slope descends into the dank gloom. Lair of the reptile god, we're here. Thank you. So we are 
in the lair of the reptile god. Awesome. This should be a fun dungeon crawl. Oh, I never went back and sampled the brew. Oh, and I bet it was good. Maybe off camera. I'll go do that. I'll run all the way back, get the brew, and then come back on camera and just continue playing from here. Because I want to see what that potion does. Have at you, monstrous leech. No, oh, Dougie's diseased. Scum. You won't win! You won't! The big troglodyte? Well, he wasn't much of his fight. He had a chest. Oh. And I saw some blood on the ground there. I figured it probably was trapped, and there's nothing in it. Huh. Zombie worker. Pump. Scum. No, run across. Or they can shoot at us. I don't mind going deeper without resting because I have, I'm sure we'll pop up on a mana node at some point, but I also have that herbal book, that food platter or whatever. That gives me a free rest. Man, now I'm the one helping Dougie. Starting to feel this character a little bit more. Feel them out. Muscarian toadstool. Muscarian spores. What do these do? Sleep. Well known for their strong sedative effect. So we'll put sleep there. We've got sleep, confusion. Whoa, that seems like you would get stuck in that. Forty-five minutes, so unfortunately the fun stops here until the next episode. So a successful sixteenth episode, I believe. Yep. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned as we crawl through this devious dungeon. Peace and blessings. <laughs>